Flagellant, Chapter 1, Baptism. He was a listless shade of the city, indifferent to his penury. With his skeletal build and bleeding gums, he looked an easy target for a pair of drunks seeking an outlet for their frustrations. The blows rained down, a tooth cracked, and a feverish crimson eclipsed his vision. In pain, there was power. He rose above his panting assailants and reveling in the marks of their sin, or gave them their trespasses. Chapter 2 In Service of the Divine Drawn to the somber depths of the church's oubliettes, he pledged his life to the clergy. There he inflicted death by slow, delicious degrees, each crack of the lash an honor, a gift, a morbid sacrament. But his zeal proved too ardent, his brethren too timid. They cast him out, rendered him once more onto the streets. Chapter 3 More, more! He roved out in search of torment, consuming the sin of any who would purge their misdeeds upon his body. Each wound fueled his fervor, a rapture only found in baptism by the lash. Drunk on his bloody intentions, manic with the need for some elusive apotheosis, he gouged at himself without mercy. As blood poured from his rendered flesh, his consciousness faltered and the thundering hoofbeats of death rang violent in his ears. Chapter 4 Death's Door Her scythe promised numbing obliviation, a premature end to his sacred journey of sensation.
from the world's gruesome delights. His power was enough to defy death herself. Chapter 5. Behold the Man. Once more he wandered, ravenous for fresh suffering and delighting in its novelty and excess. Offering himself to blade and talon alike, he became an icon writ in flesh. A living prayer to whatever gods would turn an ear. Undying, he savored his delicious declension. An eternity of pain and wrath. Heaven on Earth. 